Hello everyone, if you're playing AFK Journey right now, then you know the Expert Dueler event is going on and there's a Prissa skin up for grabs. Even though this skin is achievable by playing Honor Duel three times a day for, let's say, nine days, there are some difficult missions in here which you can go and speed up the process. For some, getting nine wins with zero losses can be a little bit of a struggle, but having it where you can't go and refresh the store makes it incredibly difficult. And seeing how there's another mission in there for nine wins, zero losses, and just not selling any heroes, it seems like an easy one to combine with this one at the same time. Artifacts are going to make a big difference in this if you are trying to go 9 and 0. The ones I really like revolve around Leica, Muriel, Sylvina, and even the one that prevents you from casting your ultimates. This one I went with Pale Crown, which focuses on Sylvina, which is a Graveborn Rogue. This causes her normal attack, First Strike, to do 2.2 times its regular damage. This skill pretty much makes it where she jumps to the symmetrical spot on the map and attacks whichever hero she has her little icon over. For me, that's usually going to be attacking a healer or a squishy of the wilder faction. So this Pale Crown makes it where she won't be targeted for 8 seconds after casting that, and if we end up killing one of the enemy heroes, she's going to use this first strike again, but now she's going to go after the weakest hero. So picking this combo also came with Salazar and Corrin, and we also gained 60 currency in order to buy stuff from the shop. I mainly want to focus on building Graveborn here, so we're going to buy that triple for 33, and we actually get Thorin and Carolina of it. So we do have 5 heroes, now I'm going to go and purchase both of these pieces of gear. One's going to be doing an attack speed, and the other one's going to be giving increased damage to heroes that are within two tiles of our attack. So we'll throw that dagger on Sylvina, and then throw the gloves on a Salazar. Now, if I didn't have a tank inside the group, that's where I would go and purchase one of the packs for 18. But the fact my army is pretty built well around, nothing really for healing, but still, I like what I'm seeing. We'll throw Thorn in the middle, Corn on the side, and then Carolina a little bit back some ways. But I really want to hang off on Salazar and then Sylvina, just because I don't want to expose what I have in the first round. Salazar, I'm more worried about them seeing the gear, but Sylvina, I want to see what they throw out on their first round to see if it's a squishy that I can target. This is every Greyborn's dream right here, seeing Lightbearers out there. We get a faction bonus against them, but we do want to keep our eyes open for Wilders because they're going to be trumping us. I tried to target Rowan on this one, but with Carolina there, I couldn't get the symmetricalness of it, and a Vala popped up, so we end up killing Vala immediately. Still, wiping out their whole team within 13 seconds is pretty decent. Heading into the shop, we have another Graveborn triple, so we'll grab that again, and we actually were able to take Carolina up to Legendary. That is huge for this early in the game. We also got a Viperion out of it too, which means if I want to, I can drop out Corn, get the full five-person Greyborn team faction bonus, so that's kind of nice, but I could go and grab a couple of different things here. I'm actually going to go for the gloves on it because I want to throw that on Carolina now that she just became a beast early game. So we'll drop Thorin in the back here, Salazar up front just to split up a little bit, and then we'll throw Viperion out there. I want to now keep Carolina and Sylvina as my kind of second round, keep those kind of hidden from the enemy. They do have an Igor out there, which is going to be annoying, but I see a Wilder, that's what I want to try to drop first, although it is making me target the Carolina, so we'll just have to get that out of the way before we can jump over to that. Igor around and some tanks definitely made this one take a little bit longer at 32 seconds, but still pretty successful run with it there with still having all my heroes. Our Pale Crown finally got to one star, meaning we had the choice to pick between all Mythic heroes will do 18% more damage, or all Graveborn will do an additional 15% more damage. The fact that we're trying to go 9 and 0 without refreshing the shop or selling heroes, it's very difficult to get Mythics in this run, and right now we would benefit the most from getting the Graveborn one. For me, the shop doesn't look anything too impressive right now because we are building Graveborn, so we'll go for this triple random here, which we luck out on getting two Igors. We also got an Atandra in there, which isn't terrible. I'm not really going to be using the Maulers inside the game, but if I do end up going up against a full build of Wilders there, or if I suspect they're going to be going full build Wilders, I might want to go and throw some Maulers out there, being that they are going to trump the Wilders. We'll also grab this purple armor here, which we'll throw on Thorn, which is going to block the first fatal blow and make him immune for five seconds. It seems like a good fit for the tank. And going in, I'll probably drop Viperion out on this one and use Igor just because of his skill set just works so well inside this honor duel. I'm still going to keep Sylvina and Carolina as last picks there, so we'll throw Thorn and Salazar out with them. Spread them out a little bit too. I did see a Wilder out there, so I target Sylvina onto that, not realizing that it was Damien that removes himself. So I think we're going to actually end up jumping over to Citrana there and dropping her immediately. 
27 seconds on that one. Back to the shop, and we've already got three trophies. This is kind of what I consider the first phase. This next four through six, I tend to try to at least get a hero to legendary and get some purple gear. And as you can see here, we can buy Thorn. We're ahead of the game with having two legendaries and plus having some purples. I was so focused on getting purple gear, I didn't even realize we had a, another Carolina inside there. I did end up purchasing her, but I did go for this robe that's going to heal the ally that's in front of whoever wears it, and they'll heal every five seconds. Although I didn't get the little icon on the square saying, hey, this is the hero that's getting the buff. I'm gonna throw that robe on Salazar, and then we'll take those gloves and move it up to Igor, increase his attack speed. This time I'm throwing Thoran, Carolina, and Salazar out. I don't want him to really know that I have an Igor just because he is so annoying. And then obviously every single time, Sylvina will be last. We will give Igor that buff, and I was trying to target Smokey. However, a Leica does pop out and we target that, which is probably the best case scenario for me. If they hit the artifact on Leica that caused all range heroes to go and drop meteors, that could have been game over right there, but luckily they weren't making that run. The fact that I did see Wilders out there with a Smokey and Legendaries, I was actually thinking it was gonna be game over, but we actually crushed them in about 13 seconds. We'll buy this triple random here, which gives us another Carolina, and then we'll grab this vest, which is gonna give us a shield and also taunt enemies. So we'll go pop that one onto Thoran, and then take the one that was on Thoran, which is gonna block that first fatal blow. We'll throw that actually over on Sylvina, just to keep her alive a lot longer. Still same formation, I was gonna try to target Merrily here, but a Cassidy pops up, we target her instead. A lot of light bearers here, so I'm not too nervous, even though there is an Igor out there, I think I have the better build here. At least I thought that was gonna be a slam dunk, but still having an Igor on the team made it pretty difficult and dropped some of my own heroes. There wasn't anything that really shocked me too much besides seeing this yellow gear here, which is going to increase ultimate damage and give us some energy back. We're gonna pop that on Sylvina as she's the main focus. I did grab the triple random, which gave me technically garbage for what I'm building on it. And then the other one I grabbed was this mass two, which if no ally is placed next to them, they're going to get increased stats. And I threw that in Igor, but there was a couple of times going further that I forgot about it and still threw a hero by him. And then we took that fatal blow gear and threw that on Carolina. Definitely moving a lot of things around, but this is where I see them best fit. Same process again, we're trying to focus on that back line, those squishies. Vala pops up, we target her, able to drop her quickly, which is nice. And then going back in, we have this gear, which is going to heal allies by 200 if they're within two tile distance. So that seems like a good one to throw onto Thor in there. If you remember at the beginning of the video, I said that I did want to build some Maulers in case I saw Wilders out there. And Smokey is definitely a must if you're building that team. Smokey in general is an absolute beast. So two getting them there, that seems like a good go. I did try to grab the triple of the Maulers, but didn't get anything that benefited Smokey. I did grab that Bone Amulet, which is going to do true damage for 3% of their health for five seconds. So that seemed like a good spot to throw that on Salazar. And we throw our troops out again. This time we actually locked on to Rowan. Even though they did pop a Vala out there, we were able to target him, dropped him immediately, which is a huge thing in a fight. But another quick battle at 19 seconds. I love these ones that go extremely quick, especially with Graveborn, it seems to really help out. Those ones that kind of extend out a long time, it's always kind of iffy, but I love seeing them just go nice and fast. So that was our seventh win right there. And usually from this seven to nine, I know I need to get myself at least a mythic. I wanna get a bunch of this yellow gear on there. Otherwise it's gonna come down to that final match and you're gonna be left in a point where it's probably not gonna go too well. We got a double of Salazar there. That seems like a no-brainer. We'll grab this triple Graveborn, and I totally lucked out and was able to take Carolina up to Mythic. Plus, we got an extra copy of Salazar, too. I could have gone for a second yellow gown here, but the fact of whoever wears it is only going to be receiving 75% of the healing. So it didn't really make sense to me to go and throw it on two separate ones when I could pretty much just benefit with one. Going back in this time, though, I want to hide the fact that I have a Mythic Carolina, so we're going to be saving her with Sylvina. And we're able to go and target the Wilder in the back. We actually drop it pretty quick between having Sylvina and then Salazar do his attack, plus Igor jumping into. And then we immediately drop the Rowan right after it. This one did take a little bit longer and the fact that we had Thorin out there, which I think it was like 24 seconds, but still, this was a good run. 24 seconds, all heroes are alive, and this is the eighth win. That doesn't usually happen at this point. 
So where I am pretty happy about this, I was definitely nervous at that ninth round they were gonna throw a like at me. It's happened before, and it definitely is an OP thing when you're going up against a great barn team. This time I did grab the rest of the Smokies here. I really didn't like the gear going and pursuing the furthest hero, but then taking 25% more damage. And then the other one giving increased attack, but not allowing you to cast your ultimate. Neither of those seemed good, but I said, hey, you know, even though it's a final round, let me just grab Salazar here because he's on the team. Let's get him. This time though, it's gonna be a Greyborn against Greyborn. I did go and try to target Cessia, but unfortunately it wants to go after Nauru. So you might notice I wasn't really running any healer inside this. I don't always recommend that, but in this situation, it's just the way the cards unfolded. I have run Nauru and my other Graveborn builds in this and got me pretty far, but like I said, we didn't really see him. We use what we got and we use the best of what we have. Where things went pretty easy, we did end up just duking it out with Igor there. Once again, pain in the neck, but we took the win on this one. And I do want to say, this was not my first try going and beating this of doing 9 and 0. I tried this several times. I don't really consider myself a pro at the game. I just more consider somebody that plays a lot of video games and has a good knowledge of how the heroes work inside it. If you find yourself kind of struggling in this mode, even if you don't know what the hero skills are, when putting the gear on them, just go and click on the icon. Read while you're doing this. I think this is a perfect mode to understand all the heroes inside the game and really learn their skill sets. But as you can see here, we completed both the 9-0 without refreshing the shop, 9-0 without selling heroes, a 9-0 victory, and a bunch of other ones too. We're able to grab this skin. So I'm glad I've got this one knocked off the belt here. This was a huge success for me and couldn't be happier to show it to you guys. If you guys want some tips on just how to get nine stars in general on this and not have to worry about this whole 9-0, which makes it incredibly difficult, take a look at this video right here. But thanks for watching and remember, I pick my butt.